Around the nation tonight to the groundbreaking trial of a Michigan mother charged after her son's deadly school shooting rampage. Closing arguments wrapped up on Friday. ABC's Trevor Alt has more. You didn't know about the 9 millimeter? Oh, I knew about it. This morning, the jury will soon decide the fate of the first parent of a school shooter to stand trial herself. In the final day of testimony Friday, Jennifer Crumbly facing intense cross-examination. He consistently had a desire to obtain a weapon. I know that I know they consistently talked about it correctly. Okay. Crumbly is charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter, one count for each classmate her son killed. Prosecutors allege she missed crucial warning signs about his mental health while also gifting him the gun he used in the rampage. It's about what she knew and what she didn't say. These disturbing drawings prompting counselors to call the parents to school hours before the shooting, but they left after just 12 minutes, leaving their son behind. She could have searched the backpack. She could have asked her son where the gun was. She could have locked the ammunition. She could have locked the gun. She could have taken him home. Crumbly's defense attorney argues the prosecution cherry-picked a few moments from a mountain of evidence to turn the jury against her client. You don't have to like her, but when you're looking at the evidence in this case, it's important to set aside your opinions of her. She claims Crumbly is an average, working, busy parent and that she had no way of knowing her son would commit these heinous crimes. This case is a very dangerous one for parents out there. The crumbly son was a skilled manipulator. The jury now reconvening Monday to deliberate. The prosecutor with these final words for them. He literally drew a picture of what he was going to do. He drew a picture. It says, help me. She walked out of that school when just the smallest, smallest of things could have saved could have helped Hannah and Tate and Madison and Justin. For Good Morning America, Trevor Alt, ABC News, Pontiac, Michigan.